comes I, again? Why? Why would he do it again? This is all about the instructor, by the way, everybody. This is an ego instructor. Hey, ego instructors, if you're still out there, just please save our industry and get out of teaching diving. I mean, diving, if you're a dive instructor, it's not about you. Dude, how many times have I said that? That is like the truest statement ever for dive instructors. This is all about the instructor, by the way, everybody. This is an ego instructor. Hey, ego instructors, if you're still out there, just quit. Please save our industry and get out of teaching diving. Re diving, if you're a dive instructor, it's not about you. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory School Man Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a big favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys will be notified every time we upload new content. Now if you couldn't tell from our teaser trailer here, we're going to be looking at the top three mistakes that I personally see dive instructors make all the time. And how do I see these mistakes? Well, first of all, I've made these same mistakes before as a dive instructor. But also because I'm a current SSI instructor trainer and I teach new instructors. That's part of my job as an instructor trainer and I try to teach these instructors how to be successful in the scuba industry but more importantly how to be successful for themselves as a dive professional and if you kind of stay away from these three mistakes you will be more successful in this industry so if you've got say um, the want to be an instructor if you got that drive and that passion pay attention to this video because I promise you not only will it help you during your ITC programs it'll also help you out as a dive professional in the industry so with that being said let's look at the top three mistakes I see all dive instructors make number one not having patience. Guys, I know it can be difficult at times, especially if you're a dive instructor out in the tropical areas where you've got a slew of new students, maybe 20 to 30 new students coming through every single week. You're in that tropical destination. You have these um, students who come in just on vacation. They have a very limited time to learn. And unfortunately, maybe the shop that you work for says, well, if they get part of it right, pass them on and get them on out of here. And unfortunately, that's not a good thing. First of all, that's a violation of standards. If these students can't master these skills you cannot certify them it's too much of a risk for you as an instructor and your credibility but it's also a risk to their safety so please have patience with these students don't be afraid to go to a student and say look you're simply not ready I know you're on vacation but let's refer you to a shop back towards uh, wherever it is that you live and this will help you out to become a better and safe diver so please have patience don't get upset with your students if they don't get it the first time I see a lot of instructors say well there's something wrong with my student they should be able to do this and you know the reality is you wasn't that good now being an instructor you wasn't that good when you were a new open water student you've had hundreds if not thousands of dives to really hone and fine-tune your skills give the same courtesy to your your students your new students your open water students and give them the time and the patience that they need to get better at doing these skills so the first biggest mistake I see is no patience number two don't make it about you. Dive instructors, I can't stress this enough. It's not about you as a dive professional. Yes, you have worked very hard. You have trained very hard. You've paid your dues and you become a dive instructor. You may be a high ranking instructor and you should be proud of that. But don't make it about you. Make it 100% about your students. It's going to make you a better instructor by doing that. But it's, it's also going to show your students that you actually care about what they're learning and care about their safety as well. So don't make it about you. Take your personal bias, whether it's a, a gear bias or a philosophy bias or an agency bias. Take that out of the picture altogether and simply teach safe scuba to your students. Now, I know a lot of great instructors out there that really specialize in certain areas and certain fields and they have philosophies that they need to do that certain type of diving but when we talk about open water students you've got to remember they don't know anything we have to teach them from scratch so take your personal bias against gear and, and training agencies and whatever your personal bias is and throw it out the door and just teach safe 
teaching habits and safe scuba to your students. We all teach the same thing. We teach how to remove and replace a mask. We teach how to donate air. It doesn't really matter which way we do it. COVID really kind of threw a big hiccup in that. I'm a, a big supporter and always doing primary donate. Unfortunately, our training agency doesn't let us do that right now because of COVID. So what we've had to do is still teach safe scuba. We've taught our students how to donate air in a safe manner that's going to work for everybody due to the crisis. So with that being said, my personal bias had to go out the door. I had to teach a different way. So don't make it about you, simply make it about your students. Now I know somebody's gonna say, but look, you're a Marius fanboy, you really like SSI, and yes, that's true. I own an SSI training facility. I am a Marius dealer, of course I'm gonna like that stuff. But guys, I've worked in this industry long enough that I've sold all the major manufacturers and it's all good gear so i don't care what equipment my students wear i don't care if they want to be in back mounted doubles or side mount or full face mask or rebreather it doesn't matter to me what i do care about is teaching safe scuba and you should too as a dive instructor don't make it about you make it 100 percent about your student Number three, and this is the final mistake that I see a lot of dive instructors make, and I've found myself over the years breaking this mistake because I've made it several times and I try my best not to, but never stop learning. When you've reached that top level that you want to reach, that's fine. If you've reached your goal, great. I applaud you. I've reached my goal multiple times, but the key word there being multiple times. Once I've reached that goal, I set a new goal and I strive out for that too. It doesn't necessarily have to be another instructor level. It can be anything in the scuba industry. Maybe you're a recreational scuba instructor, but you want to go into the tech realm of scuba or some type of gear specific realm, such as side mount or rebreather then of course you can strive to reach your goal as well and continue your education. This is going to do several things. It's going to make you a more well-rounded diver. It's going to make you a more educated diver and it's going to make you a more educated instructor. As you gain more experience, you're going to start learning how to teach those courses as well, which is going to be more profitable for you as a dive instructor because you're going to be able to reach out to a broader audience of customer base or student base. So never stop learning, never stop getting more knowledge, never stop becoming a better diver yourself. Yes, you're an instructor, but you're also a diver at heart and you never want to stop becoming a better diver as well. So there you go, guys. That's the top three mistakes I see all dive instructors make. First of all, make sure you have patience for your student. Remember where it is that you came from. And just remember, you wasn't as good as what you are now when you first started. You had a lot of great mentors and dive instructors in your diving career. Please be that mentor, that dive instructor to your new students and just have patience for them. Number two, always learn. Never stop learning. Always take new classes. Even if you've reached your goal, whatever it is that you wanted to max out in the scuba industry, set you another goal that's going to make you a better instructor, a more well-rounded instructor, and a more educated instructor. And of course, last but not least, don't make it about you. Make it about your students. Make sure that you're teaching safe diving. Forget your gear bias. Forget whatever agency bias you may have and just teach safe scuba. If you will follow these three simple steps, I promise you not only will you be a more well-rounded instructor, you'll be a whole lot safer as an instructor. You'll also be more profitable as an instructor as well. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.